I literally come alive at Christmas. I have never been more ready for a TBR in my life. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the December edition of TBR Cluedo! <laughs> my favourite time of the month, TBR Cluedo is probably my favourite video to make now. I just love it so, so much and I am so ready to figure out what I am going to be reading in December. Before we get into December, we have something to discuss. <laughs> Are you comfortable? I'm scared. Are you scared? Yeah, I You should be. Of my November TBR, whoa, I'm actually falling over. I can't talk about this. I have read Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron, The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson, and In the Watchful City by S. Croyu Lu. I have not read. <laughs> Actual Age Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert, King of Crows by Libba Bray, or Lakewood by Megan Giddings. Now, everyone, now, now, now. <laughs> I ain't staying here. Sorry, I love ya, but I ain't staying here. These two I haven't read because I had to push the video back to January. I ended up not being able to fit it in to November, the reading vlog that these books were for. So like, don't blame me. And Lakewood, I just didn't read it. <laughs> I went back and forth about a punishment for this, whether it should be a punishment specific prompt or whether I should just add an extra roll. I spoke about it to my patrons. They said, listen, just add an extra roll. I have decided to do none of those things and to not take a punishment. <laughs> the rules don't apply. Here's the thing, December, as much as I love it, as much as it is my favourite time of the year to make videos, it's gonna be hard. Like, it's gonna be hard. I am making four videos a week, so that's a lot. And I, and I am gonna be reading about 15 books this month, minimum. But nine of them, I actually can't plan. I don't know what I'm gonna be reading for them, for various reading vlogs and series that are coming. So I, listen, it's just not gonna happen. I can't add an extra book to this mess. I can't do it. And if you have a problem with that, you upload four videos and read 15 books, nine of which you can't plan. And then, listen, no one can blame me. I feel like, just, let's, just let me have this one thing. So in the future, when I do not complete my TBRs, yes, we will take a punishment, okay? We will take a punishment. We'll add an extra book and it'll be a punishment specific prompt. But I am just electing to choose self-care. <laughs> That's what Christmas is about, isn't it? Yeah. So please, Please let me have this. <laughs> if you don't know the rules of TBR Cluedo, I will leave the link down below to the full playlist, including the first video where I go through all of the rules, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You can kind of learn it as we go along. So let's just get into roll one. I don't think we have any other notices. So let's just get into roll one. Okay, so pretty much every book that I know for sure that I want to read this month are in mystery, historical, or fantasy. So I'm going to try my best to go into those rooms as much as I can and hope that the prompts there are kind to me. We're just gonna hope for the best and try to only get in those rooms pretty much. Okay so roll one, person number five which is white. Okay and then how many are we gonna roll? A three and a four. Okay one two three uh four five six seven which is number 30. What prompt is that? Oh my God, that's a wild card, which means I can pick anything. It doesn't even have to be a fantasy, but I have so many fantasies, it will probably be a fantasy, but I've never had that prompt before. Ah! <laughs> Just when I needed it. TBR Cluedo is pulling through. Okay, so that can be any book that I want, pretty much. Okay, roll number one was a wild card. <laughs> it's what she deserves. I've never gotten this prompt before. I never, in like all the editions we've done so far of TBL Cluedo, I've never gotten the kindness that is the wild card prompt. So basically for this, I could read any book, any book I wanted. It doesn't have to be fantasy, but I have chosen a fantasy because I've got a lot of fantasy to read this month of what I know that I'm already reading. And I have chosen Saga Volume One by Brian K. Vaughan. This is on its way to me. This and another book you're gonna see in this vlog are on their way to me right now. Um, I don't currently have them, but I will own it physically by the time I read it. And I 
I did not expect to be reading this. It is for a video that I'm doing. I'm not gonna tell you anything more about it. I don't really know much about this graphic novel series. I know it's kind of like fantasy sci-fi. I think about a young family in this fantasy world, but I <laughs> never really had any interest in reading this graphic novel series. Not, not no interest, but I am just a bit trepidatious shall we say. I'm a massive fan of the dictionary. About starting graphic novel series because they are such an investment, but I'm intrigued. I've heard so many people loving the saga graphic novel series, and so I hope that I can love it too. Like My favourite graphic novel series, Heartstopper, is ending. It's coming to an end, it's coming to a close, which is very sad. So I feel like I need a new graphic novel series on the horizon, and maybe saga will be it. So we're gonna read the first volume this month. Okay, roll two. Number four, which is pink, which is here. Okay, we're gonna try to get into fantasy again. <laughs> um, and we are rolling a five and a four. Okay, we can do this. So, one, two, three, four. Let's just do five, let's just do that. Which is number three, which is start a new series. <laughs> Listen, let's not talk about me and series. <laughs> But I think there's like maybe one or two on my TBR this month that I need to start a new series for. So we are gonna go with that. Okay, roll two was a fantasy, start a new series. <laughs> How's it fun? You will not get one tear out of me tonight. I don't even know how many series. It's more than how, 36, was it, when I filmed that video? It's more. It's more and it's just gonna keep climbing. I really need to start finishing series, don't I? I just need to start doing it. So we're gonna start a new one, okay? And I'm gonna be reading The Ravens by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. This is part of a duology. The second part I think comes out early next year. And this is about, as far as I know, a fantasy about these sorority girls that are witches. There is, I think, like a rivalry between some of the girls, but they have to put that aside to take down this like dark power that is rising on campus. I'm really excited. I recently read, is it here? Yes, The Once and Future Witches by Alex E. Harrow. And like, I loved it. One of my favorite books I've read so far this year. It's gonna be up there. I feel like a lot of my favorites of the year have come towards the end of the year. And that's not just because they're like, <laughs> they're fresher in my mind. I've had this feeling throughout pretty much the whole year that like I've had five stars, I've had books I've loved, but they haven't been like all time favourites. And I'd felt a bit like shitty about the books I'd read that were five stars, like not having like loads of standouts, but I've had quite a few in the last few months of the year. Anyway, I'm really in the mood for more witchy books. Like witches are just, ah, I'm so excited. I'm really, really excited to read more witchy books. I've heard a lot of good things about this. A lot of people were reading this like end of last year, start of this year. It has gorgeous pink sprayed edges, which of course I love. I'm also really interested in, soror in sorority. So I can't say it, sorority, sorority. We should be like promoting the dictionary anyway. I'm also really interested in reading books about that. So yes, The Ravens is the next book I'm gonna be reading this month. Roll number three. Person number three, which is red, okay. And how many are we rolling? Oh, five. Um, can I get into historical for that? One, two, three, four, five. Oh my God, I did it. It is number 28, which is a book you've never seen on booktube. So then we had a historical that I've never heard someone speak about on booktube. So this is just like, I've never heard someone review this or talk about it. And for this, I have chosen Midwinter Murder by Agatha Christie. So I have heard like a lot of people talk about Agatha Christie a fucking course, like. <laughs> But like, this is a lesser known kind of collection of short stories by Agatha Christie. And I've never heard anyone review this, I don't think. Not even books like Woe, who is my Agatha Christie like idol. I haven't heard her review this. So this is a collection of short stories, all Christmassy, wintry themed. One of them is The Mystery of Hunter's Lodge, which is what the game, if you remember I did a sponsorship with um, Hunter Killer for their Agatha Christie game that was amazing, like it was so good. Um, and one of them is that, so spoilers, I think I already know <laughs> the, the ending of that book. You already know. 
there's like 10 short stories in here, all Christmassy, wintry themed, perfect to get in the mood. This is going to be one of the books I'm hopefully going to read like over Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day. I am going to vlog it, but I don't know how well I'm going to do it vlogging it because like I'm going to be around a lot of family who I typically don't show or not even like my family, like Tom's family. And so I don't want to open everyone up to, <laughs> to being on video when they're not comfortable. So it might be a bit strange, a bit difficult to necessarily vlog everything, but I am going to be vlogging and this is hopefully one of the books I'm going to be reading over that time. Just like perfect to get into the Christmas mood. Roll number four. I feel like it's going quite well so far. Person number one, which is green. Yes! <laughs> Fantasy! Okay, and then how many are we rolling? We've rolled, oh, nine. Okay. Um, maybe let's just use the six. Let's see where we can get to. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, which is number 26, which is something I've been scared to read. Roll four was a fantasy that I have been scared to read. Now, <laughs> this one uh, is another book that's on its way to me. I don't currently have it in my hands, but I will by the time I read it. I have been scared to read this. Number one, because it's had so much hype. Number two, it's another series. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Thank you. It's another series and I don't really, you know, I don't really want to start series. So I've been scared to read it, but I'm going to be reading These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. So <laughs> I am excited because it is like one of the most popular books that has come out recently. It's been so successful. People have loved it. All I know is that it's set in the 1920s and we are following kind of like a, it's like a mob version of Romeo and Juliet. And um, I'm really excited because I've heard great things. It's been such a popular book, but I'm also scared because it has so much hype. Sometimes books can struggle to reach that for me, especially like YA fantasy. I would say like Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom did it, but other, I don't think, I can't really think of any other YA, like truly why, 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 young, 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 young adult fantasy that has lived up to the hype for me. So I am scared to read it because of that. But I'm also excited because it has been so popular and it must be popular for a reason. Roll five. Person number five, which is white again. Oh my God. Too bad, Pluto. Yo. <laughs> this is actually the best it's ever gone for me. I said I needed fantasy and Too bad, Pluto said, let me deliver. It's fine. Okay. And then let's roll these. A two and a four. Okay. Where can we get two and six? Um, one, two, three four, five, six. Okay. That is number nine, which is a book under 6,000 ratings on Goodreads. And then our next roll was a fantasy under 6,000 ratings on Goodreads. So when I was making this prompt, I went and looked and I would say like the least popular third of the books on my TBR had less than 6,000 ratings. So that's why I chose that number. And the book I'm actually, I'm so fucking excited. The book I'm going to be reading for this prompt is Midnight in Everwood by M.K. Kuznir. Look at this cover. I mean, like, isn't she gorgeous? Are we not crying? This is a brand new release. So it hasn't got many reviews yet. I think it's only got like 400, 500 ratings. Now this is actually gonna be my Patreon book club pick for the Cattails Book Club for December. As many of you all know, usually they do vote on a round of TBR Cluedo. So like say fantasy under 6,000 ratings, they would have had to vote on four fantasies that fit that bill. But since it's Christmas and December, we instead decided to pick four books that are Christmassy, wintry themed and vote on them like across genres, not on a round of TBR Cluedo. So the options I gave them were Midnight in Everwood, The Very Merry Murder Club, which is a middle grade Christmassy anthology, The Bright and the Pearl by Jessica Rubinowski, which is like another wintry fantasy and Shiver by Ellie Reynolds, which is like a ski resort isolated thriller. And Midnight Everwood unanimously won. I'm a massive fan of the dictionary. You know, we should be like promoting the dictionary. So if you want to read this with us, come join us over on the Patreon. I do an exclusive reading vlog for this. So I vlog my thoughts. I know this is a new release. So like, I feel like this is quite an exciting one to have for the book club. And then we have a live show discussion as well, where everyone chats. They have been so good. They're one of my favorite things on the Patreon because everyone comes with so many opinions and we like chat about so much. So it's really, really fun. So yeah, if you want to read this with us, if you want to see my reading vlog for it, come join us on the Patreon and I'm so excited. It is set in 1906 Nottingham in the UK and it is a nutcracker retelling. <laughs> nutcracker retelling, oh my God. It's about this girl, woman in the middle um, <laughs> who wants to be a ballerina, but she has to get married. And I think she gets like trapped in this magical world to do with like 
Christmas, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm very, very excited to read it. So, so excited. And it's just a gorgeous edition. Our final roll, I would love to get something in the mystery zone because we haven't got that yet. Person number three is red. Okay, we can do this. Red is over here. Woo, woo. <laughs> and rolling a six, okay. Maybe let's try and just get to this one with four. One, two, three, four. Okay, well, hey. So that is number 14, which is a book. Oh my God, no, I actually can't even say it. I can't even say it. <laughs> That is a book with all the letters of my first name in the title. Fuck. <laughs> oh no, am I even gonna be able to do that? Okay, we'll have to just figure it out. And then our final roll was a mystery with all the fucking letters of my first name in the title. What's fair? Right. Life's not fair. Right. That was, it was so hard, but I found one and it's perfect. I am gonna be reading Christmas at the Grange by T.E. Kinsey. And yeah, it has everything for Megan in the title. So this is like a mini novella um, edition in my favorite cozy mystery series, which is the Lady Hardcastle Mysteries. I think the audiobook is only two hours long. So it's gonna be something perfect to read over Christmas as well. I don't think there's murder in this one. Usually there's murders, but I think this is more of like a Christmassy cozy one. So I think like something goes missing at the Grange, which is like Lady Hardcastle's friend's house. And I'm just so excited. I just love this cozy mystery series so, so much. And yeah. It's like my favorite cozy mystery series. So I'm so excited to be reading this over Christmas. Okay, so that is my TBR for December. Obviously we have got these three and then Saga and these Violent Delights, which are arriving soon. And Christmas at the Grange is an audio book. So I'm very, very excited. I feel like we have got a really good selection of books. <laughs> this is only a tiny selection of the books I am gonna be reading in December. Like I said, a lot of them, I have no idea yet what I'm gonna be reading. It's all gonna be randomly chosen for different vlogs. So a bit nervous, but very excited for that at the same time and if you've gotten to the end of this video comment comment an icicle emoji for like snowiness um and winteriness that a lot of these have got like icicles snowflakes comment one of them down below if you've gotten to the end i am so excited for all the content that is coming in december you guys are not ready like all the videos i got planned they're gonna be so so much fun so i am so excited and thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon in another video bye